Hey there, so today I want to explain what all the numbers mean. I've been filling up my Twitter feed with all sorts of numbers and those numbers are my blood sugar. Basically it is the amount of glucose in my bloodstream at any given time and here in the States that is measured in milligrams per deciliter. The normal range for a person is somewhere between the low to mid hundreds and that's where hopefully you would be if we tested your blood sugar right now, somewhere between 100 and 150. Now, if your blood sugar was to come in at 200 or higher, that's when a diagnosis of diabetes mellitus would come in. I think when I was diagnosed, I was something like 600. So I was six times the normal uh, amount, which is terrible. Um, and so for folks like me, for type 1 diabetics, we use insulin to maintain a blood glucose level that is as close to normal as possible. And I try to do that by having a pre-meal number that is basically between 80 and 120, and then following up after the meal, trying to be no higher than 50 points, more than where I started about two hours later. So I'm always trying to be in the range of 80 to like 170, somewhere in there. Lower is better. Um, and I really try to avoid going any lower than 80 or any higher than 200. The reason is that blood sugar under 70 is really unsafe. It's also referred to as hypoglycemia uh, or low blood sugar, and it is the result of an inadequate supply of glu glucose being in your blood for the brain to use. Now, if it happens, the symptoms are things like shakiness and anxiety or hot flashes or feeling kind of numb, your judgment gets impaired, sometimes you're depressed, sometimes you're irritable, sometimes you're weak and feeling fatigued or you have a lot of lethargy, a lot of times you get very confused, you start staring at things, you have slurred speech, you act like you're drunk, and in severe cases, some of the serious consequences of hypoglycemia can be seizures or going unconscious, and um, very rarely they are permanent brain damage and death. So hypoglycemia needs to be treated immediately. Uh, and you treat it by ingesting sugar. Now you can do that by chugging soda or fruit juice, I like orange juice, um, or ingesting foods that are high in carbs like grabbing a cookie or a handful of cookies actually. Um, or I always keep a pack of Lifesavers in my purse because um, they're super high in sugar. And that usually does the trick. So you want to avoid that. And you also want to avoid being higher than 200. Um, that is referred to as hyperglycemia and or high blood sugar. And the resulting effects of that tend to be extreme thirst or hunger, uh, fruity breath, and uh, frequent urination because of all the water that you're ingesting. Basically, your body is trying to push out all the excess sugar the best way it knows how, which is through the kidneys. And the way you treat this is with insulin. You bring down your glucose in your bloodstream with uh, an insulin injection. Now, it's not going to result in death, like hyper uh, hypoglycemia, uh, but chronic high levels of glucose in your bloodstream do damage your blood vessels and the organs that they supply. So serious complications tend to come up over years of unmanaged blood sugar. And some of these complications are kidney damage or neurological damage, cardiovascular damage, damage to your retina or to your legs and feet. And so none of that is fun and that is also to be avoided. So basically I spend the entire day trying to stay somewhere between 80 and like 170 um, the best that I can. All right, that's all for now. Cheers.